Hello Professor, my name is Cynthia Osoji and this is my video presentation for um, oral drug administration. So prior to going to the client's room, the first thing I do is to look up on the client's record, his chat and see, um, look out for special consideration, reason why the client was ordered to drug and allergies, possible allergies. Now after checking all of that, the next thing I will do is to perform hand hygiene. Then I go to the current room. Doctor, come in. Hi, Mr. Smith. My name is Cynthia Ozoji. Um, I'll be your practical nurse for today. Is it okay if I call you Mr. Smith? Yes, it's okay. Okay, please. Can you confirm your name and date of birth for me, please? Second, second, nineteen ninety one. Okay, good. Everything is good. So, how are you feeling today? I'm in so much pain. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. So, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your pain? Uh, maybe eight out of ten. Okay, that's a lot of pain. So, is it okay if I drop your medication for you now? Your pain sure, sure. Okay. Um, before I go drop your medication, do you have any allergies that I should be aware of? Mm, no. Okay. So, I'll drop your vital signs now. Okay. And then I'll go prepare your medication and I'll be back, okay? Okay. Alright. Please hurry up. Okay, I will. So, <coughs> come here. Um, then the first thing I do is to prepare all the equipment I would need to administer this drug. So I get the water and I get the drug. And then I do my drug retrieval using the mark. So I confirm his name. Yeah, Mr. Smith. Yeah, I don't know. Now using the mark, um, I would confirm, but the first thing I do is to check for the expiry date of the drug, make sure it has not expired. Then using the mark, I will confirm the medication to be sure it's the right patient, right dose. And um, while I'm doing this, I'll have the 10 rights at the back of my mind. Then um, I'll confirm making sure that everything is okay. And then do my possible calculation to be sure that I'm giving the right dose. So after doing my calculation and everything, then for the medication, right, right dose, right everything. So I'll read up on the medication now to um, educate myself on the side effect, the adverse effect, and um, of course the reason why this client is taking it, and some patients teaching that are how to teach the client. Now after doing that, I'll do my second check for the for the drug. So is it the right dose? Yes, right patient. I do everything and make sure it's correct. After doing that, now I'm ready to go administer the medication to the client. And now I'll perform hand hygiene and then move the transport the drug to the client's room. Hi, Mr. Smith. Hello. I'm Cynthia, I'm back. Do you remember me? Yes, I remember you. Okay, so please can you confirm your name and date of birth for me again, please? Uh, second, second, 1991, uh, Arnold Smith. Okay, so um, do you want it crushed or whole? I want it whole. Okay, so um, now I'll teach the client about the possible side effects and things you should look out for and um, be alert for. So after doing that, I'll put my patient in a comfortable position. So I'm going to adjust you and put you in a comfortable position, okay? Okay. Okay. Now after doing this, the next thing I do is to do my heart check for the medication to be sure it's the right um, patient, right dose, right everything. Do my correct medication, um, my heart check, make sure everything is correct. And then I go ahead and provide water to the client. Here, drop some water. Mm -hmm. And the medication. So while he's taking the medication, I'll look out to make sure he's following right and he's not forgetting the medication and everything is okay. So since he did everything is fine. So Mr. Smith, um, I would advise, can you be in this position for a little bit before, at least 30 minutes before lying back down? Sure. Okay. So um, here's a call bell. Okay. Feel free to call me if you notice any of those changes we talked about okay okay but i'll be back in about 30 minutes to do some assessment okay okay all right so all right. after doing that i'll clear up the room perform hand hygiene and i'll do my documentation thank you